My name is Christopher Rain. I'm the product manager at the Kobe Danish Technological Institute. And uh, I'm also the uh, project uh, coordinator uh, for the Sustainable Grid project um, under the Horizon uh, EU program. Uh, the project is aimed at trying to find alternative uh, end of life situations for electronics. Most electronics is ending up as waste that is accumulating and also creating a, a loss of vital resources for that. Um, this is not sustainable. Uh, we are looking into possibilities with this project to make more uh, sustainability with, uh, with recycling, with biodegradability, and trying to claim uh, both the various kinds of materials in the substrates, in the conductive paths, and also with components uh, in order to save the environment, lower the waste uh, that we're producing in EU and overall. Um, what we are trying with the Danish Technological Institute is that we're trying to uh, create new types of uh, conductive materials that is more sustainable uh, as an alternative to spikes and silver. We are looking at copper that can be used uh, for uh, the conductive tracks in the, in the electronics. And we are also looking at uh, optimizing the printing methods and the uh, processing so we can lower the overall energy consumption. Uh, that will be needed in order to produce this new type of electronics. In, in all, the entire project is aiming at a more holistic uh, aspect of designing the electronics for sustainability and safety. So the materials that goes into the production is materials that will end up being recycled that we can then reclaim and reproduce for new electronics again lowering the waste that we would have to uh, get by mining or other uh, non-renewable methods. So, in essence, um, <clears throat> we are trying to uh, create a new type of paradigm for electronic industry um, that is more uh, safe, sustainable, uh, and maybe also uh, more economical and feasible uh, for the future. Hi, my name is Alexey Borokhovich, I'm the R&D manager of the Creative Nano. And this is Creative Nano's pilot plan for the production of green nanoparticles. In the sub-project, we're going to use this pilot plan to produce uh, lignin-based hybrid nanomaterials as conductive fillers for the formulation of carbon-based inks. I'm Paolo van Hul, I'm the Research and Development Director of Metro Copsons. It's a Spanish company founded in 2006, as has been on the University of Korea. I'm one of the performers of this one. Nice. And can you talk a little bit about the sustainability project and its objectives? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. sure. For us, for Metro Copsons, um, we work with uh, disposable sensors, so similar to the ones used by diabetics for measurement of glucose in that. So these small strips are disposable, and in these strips usually they are manufactured with uh, plastic materials and also with some novel metals, usually gold, silver. So it's very relevant not to, to just to throw them away, but just to try to recycle these novel metals and also to try to change these uh, plastic substrate for some more high compatible and by the grado uh, materials. So the, the objectives uh, for us in this sustainable green project is to try to work with the circular economy of these novel metals and also to try to avoid plastics from, from these fossils. Nice. And what are the main benefits in your opinion of the project to the European Union and the society? Well, in general in the in the first world the number of, of People, for instance, with diabetes, is uh, is growing every year. Uh, these guys need to measure the, the levels of glucose in blood every three, four times uh, per day with these uh, plastic uh, disposables. So um, it's a, a, a concern for all the European society not to dispose these uh, these plastic materials, and also it's a, a concern not to, to go up ahead with this uh, mining process for the extracting of, of novel metals. 
and um, on the recycle commitment from, from all of us to, to try to, to recycle these materials to be more sustainable. So I think that the impact will be quite a good piece of for the site. Yeah, thank you very much for your participation. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Hi Camila. Hi Fernanda. <laughs> Present yourself in your presentation. Yes. So I'm from Nelson Tech, as you can see here. Nelson Tech is an Danish small company. They're around 80 employees from the certification in Denmark. We make their transfers, so stickers. So what is uh, the role of the company and the work in sustainability? So Nelson Tech is a end user. So we are an industrial interview for Sustainable, which means we test all of the substrates and inks and adhesives that are being developed within the Sustainable French projects. So what do you think is the main challenge of our Sustainable Print to bring technologies to the industry? So one big problem with printed electronic when we're talking about keypads is uh, silver migration. Silver migration is one of the silver tracks. Uh, migrate is a dielectric layer to another electric track. And uh, so within the same thing, they are trying to make conductive aids that aren't migrating through a dielectric layer. Okay, thank you very much. Hello. Hi. Hello. Can you present yourself and your organization? Yes, uh, my name is Nicolas Guitaris. I'm a PhD delegate in the uh, University of Salonique. Okay, and how, what is the role of your research in your university in this yeah, so we're currently in the department, uh, we're working on replacing the traditional uh, petroleum derived polymers with uh, polymers that uh, are derived from renewable uh, resources. And uh, of course, they are uh, bio based uh, and biodegradable in some cases for standard specific applications uh, by compatible. And for that reason, and towards our goal in the uh, South Korea project, uh, we want to replace the polyethylene terephthalate uh, substrates uh, with PLA, polylactic acid, which is a polymer deriving from uh, renewable resources uh, such as corn, and to produce a polymeric uh, substrate for uh, 3D breathing applications. Uh, So, I'm here with Professor Casper. Can you present yourself, please? Uh, yes, I'm Casper uh, Morpoz, and I'm a professor at the UBC in uh, Barcelona. Okay, yeah. and what is the main role of your company in the Sustainable Project? So, the Sustainable Project is about the uh, printed electronics, but not only that, also to create a, a circular use of printed electronics. So, we are in the project, we are creating nanomaterials, we are printing them, we are testing them, and then we want to recycle and remake. So my, my job, you know, my group's job is to create the methods for recycling that allows to remaking or reformation of new printed electronic devices. So uh, what are the main benefits in your opinion that sustainable print can bring to Europe and to the society? So, so today, most products, they are created and then they're used and then they're thrown away. And then this is a big waste of materials. Especially when you think about printed electronic components that are where we have the rare metals like gold, silver, or copper. And it would be much better if we could create a situation where we, we create, we make, we use, and we remake. So in this way, Sustainable Print Project creates a new opportunity for Europe and the world where we create this waste. Nice, very nice. Thank you very much.